In our continuing coverage, Governor Kevin Stitt signed an executive order this morning issuing the Women's Bill of Rights. Fox 23's Jenna James shows us the purpose of the legislation and opposing views. What Governor Kevin Stitt is doing is securing into law sex-based words such as female, woman, and mother. I'm doing this for every single lady and woman and little girl all across the state of Oklahoma. Governor Kevin Stitt is the first governor to issue the Women's Bill of Rights by executive order. Oklahomans are fed up with the attempts to confuse the word woman and turn it into some kind of ambiguous, perverted definition that harms are real women. Riley Gaines is a 12-time All-American swimmer who's known for losing the NCAA National Championship after competing against a transgender swimmer. Thankfully, states like Oklahoma and leaders like Governor Sid have taken decisive action to safeguard, revitalize, and protect women's sports and spaces. Those spaces she's referring to include rape crisis centers, domestic violence shelters, athletic teams, locker rooms, and sororities. She spoke as an advisor at the state capitol for the group Independent Women's Voice. Now when these words are used in Oklahoma law, they will have a meaning, so everyone is speaking common language that is not up for interpretation or redefinition. People opposed to the executive order, such as state representatives Representative Melissa Provenzano say it's more harmful than helpful. I think, you know, a lot of people will feel offended by the fact that the government would try to define who you are. Um, it's not really their role. While the human rights campaign is calling it anti-LGBTQ+, Governor Stitt is standing by his order. At the state capitol, covering news that matters, Jenna James, Fox 23 News.